This is AP Physics 2 1981 um, AP exam question and they give you a circuit and they say that it consists of battery. Um, the EMF electromotive force is 12 volt. Six, so one of them is 60 volt, the other one is 12 volt. And the internal resistance of the A1 is given 3 ohm. The battery B has the EMF at 12 volt and internal resistance of 1 ohm. Um, and four resistors connected as shown in the diagram above. Calculate the current in, in the 2 ohm resistor. So every time you have um, two, two batteries connected in the circuit, um, you want to use Kirchhoff's law. Uh, you can choose the direction of the... Um, so Ohm's law is like a special case and Kirchhoff's law works uh, for every cir circuit. So you want to choose the direction. Um, we know that the direction of the current goes from positive to negative. What we see right here in this case, in our uh, problem that is given, they are opposing each other. So this one is a positive, so this side is a positive, and that one is a positive. So that means you will have current going this way. And let me choose a different color for current. So you will have current going from positive to negative, so the current is going to go this way and cannot go at the same time be the same way from um, the other one so it looks like it's going to be pushed that way so i'm going to call this one is just i and it's the same current here as it is right here and it's the same current that is going to go over here so at first um, to start this question i'm gonna find the total resistance of the circuit so I see these um, resistors are all connected in parallel. And parallel means they all share the same knot in two places. Um, that means the voltage between, I'm going to call this point A and this point B. So the voltage between A and B is the same for all resistors and the voltage is the potential difference so the difference of the how many electrons here compared to how many electrons in the other point or the charge um, so the, to find the total res the resistance of these three when they are connected in parallel i usually use this um, saying when i teach my students to find parallel connection i do one over plus one over and plus one over my um, common denominator is four so I have one plus one times the top and the bottom of the last fraction by two gives me four over four so I get four over four so usually it's one over one over one over my result flip over so if I flip over my result, I still get 1. So my total resistance on this side is equal to 1. But these three resistors connected in series with the other one more resistor. So I could rewrite this circuit as um, this is the resistor that I just found, 1 ohm resistor. Then I could connect another 3 ohm resistor because they share the same current. So it's the same current that is going through these, um, the one that I just found. I replaced all these three with one resistor, one ohm resistor, one ohm resistor. And, um, and then I could move the battery this way and I could move this battery this way. And also, this is 60 volt, but it also has one uh, 3 ohm resistance, internal resistance. And this one is 12 volt, but it has 1 ohm internal resistance. 
So if I add my total resistance of every single resistor that I have in the circuit, I have 3 ohm resistor, I have 1 ohm resistor, and I have internal resistance, which is another 3 ohm resistor, and another 1 ohm resistor. So the total resistance in the circuit is going to be equal um, 3 and 3 gives me 6, and 2 more gives me 8 ohm. M8 ohm resistor. Um, the voltage um, in this case, if I use Kirchhoff's law, Kirchhoff's second law for the um, for the loop, and if I say I'm going to follow my loop in this direction, I have to choose my positives and negatives. So if I said that my current is floating um, in this direction, and in this direction, and in this direction, I'm going to place my positives and negatives on both sides. So um, the longer one is positive, always, and the longer one is always positive. On the other side is negative, negative. Um, if the current goes from this side of the resistor to this side of the resistor, then it goes from positive to negative. The same here, from this side to this side. That means it goes from positive to negative. And I don't have any other. Oh, I do have this little one resistor here. So I'm going to place this three ohm resistor. So the same um, negative and positive because the current is going from the right to the left at the top. And I'm going to make this little one resistor one ohm. And my current here flows from the left to the right. So it's from positive to negative. Okay. So now I'm going to write the Kirchhoff's law, which is the sum of the voltage dropped in the uh, loop is equal to zero. And I'm going to start with a 60 ohm, um, with a 60 volt battery. So I'm going to copy the sign of the, um, of the element that I just passed. So if I take my 60 volt uh, battery and I follow my loop uh, following the uh, blue line, I pass it the 60 volt and I see a positive sign. So I'm going to write positive 60 volt. Then I'm going to follow my blue line. As soon as I pass my 3 ohm resistor, I see a negative sign. I'm going to say negative 3, but it has to be voltage, and voltage is I times R, so I need to write I, the current floating through that resistor. Then I follow my blue line. And I come to the 1 ohm resistor, the one that I just calculated as the total resistance uh, of those three resistors. So, and again, as soon as I pass that uh, resistor, I see a negative sign. So I'm going to say negative 1. Uh, and again, the current that is floating through that resistor is I. So I need the voltage here. So I need I 1 times I. Then I come to the 12 volt resistor. And as soon as I pass the 12 volt resistor, I see the sign negative. So I'm going to say negative 12 and it's voltage. I don't have to multiply by anything because in my um, formula, I have the sum of all the voltages. So for resistors, I need I times R, but for voltage, I just write voltage. Then I pass my one ohm resistor and I'm going to write a negative sign because as soon as I pass it following the blue line, I have a negative one I. And then I come to the last resistor, which is um, 3 ohm resistor. And again, I have to copy that sign that I pass as soon as I pass the resistor, which is negative 3i. And let me clean a little bit here. And all of that is equal to 0. Now, 60 minus 12 gives me 48. And all the i's, I'm going to move to the other side. So I have 3 and 1 gives me negative 4, negative 5, negative 8. So that's 8i to the other side. So the current that is floating in the circuit is equal to 6 amps. So when I find this current, I mean this current is this current, the one that I chose to flow through the circuit in this direction. So that was this current. 6M. So this current through every single resistor um, is going to be 6 amps. So this is 6 amps. 
Um, the question that they ask you, they calculate the current through the 2 ohm resistor. So I need to figure out what my voltage is between point V, um, v voltage VEB. So I'm going to choose a different color here. So I'm going to take my um, 6 m current and I'm going to find what this voltage is equal to between points A and B. I know that this resistor equivalent that I found is 1 m. To find the voltage VAB, I need resistance times the current. Resistance is 1 and the current is 6. So my VAB is equal to 6 volt. So if VAB is 6 volts, so between this point and this point, I have 6 volt. So I have VAB is 6 volt. That means the current is equal to the voltage over the resistance. My voltage is 6 and my <coughs> resistor that they ask me is 2 ohm. That means the current through this resistor is 6 divided by 2 is 3 amps. If I wanted to find the, uh, the current through this resistor, I would say it's 6 divided by 4. And if I wanted to find the current through this resistor, it was 6 divided by 4. So I would have 6 divided by 4 amps. And I would have 6 divided by 4 amps. Let me clean it a little bit. So I would have 6 divided by 2. So I found my um, resist my voltage between A and B is 6 volts. So 6 divided by 2 gives me 3 amps. This one is 6 divided by 4 amps and this one is also 6 divided by 4 amps. 6 divided by 4 is the same as 3 halves so if I want to calculate the total current, so this current here which is 6 amps that I just found splits between this line, this line and this line. All of them together, these three, need to give you 6 amps. So let's check if it works. Um, 6 over 4 is 3 halves plus another 3 halves and plus 3. So I have um, 6 halves, 6 halves plus 3, which is the total of 6 amps, the total of 6 amps that we had just had. So I'm gonna quickly re re uh, rewrite everything that which is just found. I cleaned a little bit the space. So I we found that the current I is six amps. To find um, the total resistance of those three resistors in parallel, I'm gonna call them R um, four, four and two because there's four, four and two resistor there, and that is one ohm. We did one over, one over, one over. The result flip over. To find the voltage between the point AB, we calculated it by um, the current through that total resistance times the total resistance. So that gave me VAB is equal to 6 volt. And to find the current through the 2 ohm resistor, let's do a different color so it makes sense. So to find the current through 2 ohm resistor, so the current through 2 ohm resistor, I needed to divide my voltage AB over the resistance that is given R, which is 2 ohm. So I found that the current through the 2 ohm resistor is equal to 6 volt divided by 2 and gives me 3 amps. So that was my answer for part A. For part B, they ask you to calculate the power dissipated by a uh, 3 ohm resistor. So the power is equal to IV, or if you replace V with I times R, because V Ohm's law says it's I times R. Um, so if I replace V with I times R, I can have I 
squared r. I could also replace instead of v my i with v over r, then that will give me v squared over r. So I could use any of these formulas to calculate the power on a 3 ohm resistor. And the 3 ohm resistor, um, so here is the 3 ohm resistor. 3 ohm resistor um, has the current through it, which is 6 amps. It has the current of 6 amps. So if I want to calculate the power through that resistor, I have, um, I can do I squared R. I is 6 squared and R is 3. So that will give me 108 watts. So that is the answer for B. And finally, the last part, the C part. They ask you to calculate the terminal voltage of the battery B. So the terminal voltage is going to be the voltage that you would measure outside of the battery. So this is your battery. And here is the positive side of the battery. And here is the negative side of the battery. And the point, um, let me call this point C and this point D. So what they ask you to find is the voltage between C and D. And that is the terminal voltage, the outside of the battery voltage. And um, because the current is pushed through um, in the opposite direction of the current, the one that is floating through the battery, then the terminal voltage in this case is going to be um, the voltage on, on of the battery itself, 12, minus, um, normally it would be just minus the voltage dropped on the resistor, 1 ohm, but because it's in the opposite direction, I have minus negative, and the voltage dropped on this resistor, 1 ohm, is I times R. I is 6, and R is 1. So the terminal voltage for this resistor is actually 18 volt. So if you measure the voltage outside of this um, battery, you would read 18 volt with your measurements. So that was um, 1981 AP Physics B question. And it can be for AP Physics uh, 2 review or AP Physics uh, 1 because they're just learning or you're just learning um, circuits at the end of AP Physics 1 course.